Hey everybody, welcome once again to the Exoxide Tech Chronicles. Today we'll be installing the Sunbeam 4 port blue and red LED fan controller on our PC here. Crafted to fit in most cases, this unit comes pre-installed on this aluminum brush drive bay, which saves you from having to pull off any trick installs or drilling. The front features four separate controllers. Each of these controllers can provide up to 20 total watts of power. If you've got more than four devices to control, you can use a splitter to control multiple ones from each knob, just as long as they don't combine over 20 total watts per channel. And even though it's called a fan controller, you can actually use this unit to control other devices as well, including your PC lighting. For our demonstration, we'll be showing you how to connect an LED fan and a cold cathode kit. For our tutorial, we'll be doing it outside the case to give you a clear idea of just how these connections work. Let's start off with our LED fan, which uses a 4-pin Molex connector. We're going to be connecting this to our fan controller using one of the two 3-pin to 4-pin adapters that come packaged with the kit itself. For the cold cathode, simply plug the cathode into the module, and the module itself directly into the fan controller unit. In addition to the fan controller, the cathode also needs to be connected to its on-off switch, which we'll need to set to on in order for the controller to function. Alright, now that all the components are in place, use the included 4-pin male-to-female adapter to hook the fan controller up to your PC's power supply. As we turn on the cathode, you can see the power starting to run through, getting progressively more illuminated the higher we go. The LEDs supplied on this unit go from red to blue as we put more voltage through the channel. If you're using LED fans, these channels not only adjust the speed of the fan, but the strength of the brightness as well. Once again, you see the power flowing through to the fan with both the lighting and the intensity of the fan speed being stronger the higher we go. Alright, as for the actual installation, super easy. Simply snap open the front and just slide it into one of the open bays on the front panel. Then, open up the case and start connecting your fans and cathodes to the controller and power supply as we just demonstrated. Remember, if you're installing this on a previously unused bay, you may have to pop off the front covering. Now screw it in and close the front panel. That's it, you're done. Alright, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed it, have a good one.